Can you tell me what y'all's approach is and what you're working on right now? Sure. Thanks for having me on, Phil. So our approach is similar to, in some ways, to what Michelle just talked about. These are antibodies to treat the novel coronavirus. If we were to zoom in on the virus, you'd see these spikes all around the virus, kind of like spikes on a crown, which is why they call it the coronavirus. And the virus uses those spikes to attack and invade your cells. What we've done is engineered an antibody that blocks those spikes so that the virus is no longer infectious. This is similar to the, the serum donations that Michelle was talking about. What we've done is engineered a single antibody that used to do this really well against the old SARS virus, which is a cousin of the novel coronavirus. And we modified it so that now it very vigorously blocks those spikes on the novel coronavirus. Wow, so when you, when you say it blocks the spikes, then it's like a, a key going into a lock, the key won't go in there anymore, so it can't get in and, and infiltrate our system. Uh, and you think the plasma treatment like we just discussed, uh, you, you don't think that's a viable option. So what you're looking for is to be able to create a, an antibody like this that is a, a therapy, but this is different than a vaccine, correct? That's right. So first off, I do say I, I think the plasma option is a viable option. I think that's a good idea, and I'm glad Michelle and others are donating. The reason I'm working on a single antibody is that as we have a much larger set of cases, uh, we won't have enough people donating enough plasma to treat all the new people that are infected. So and that's one of the benefits of a monoclonal. But I do like the plasma approach. So the difference between the, you know, the, the thing that the plasma and, and my approach have in common that's different than a vaccine is that a vaccine takes a really long time. So we're talking about a vaccine showing up in 2021. And, and, and the other problem with the vaccine is that you can't treat patients with a vaccine. You have to give vaccine to healthy people and wait a long time. Whereas the donor plasma or my antibody, you can give that to someone who's sick. Uh, they'll immediately get, they'll, they'll start improving. It can protect them from death and they won't get sick as long. So this has been what really changed the game for the Ebola crisis, where Ebola used to be, you know, 50% chance of dying, and then once they came up with good antibodies, it was a 94% chance of being okay. Same thing with rabies. Rabies is a death sentence, and now once you have a good antibody, you receive the antibody treatment, you can walk away from it. So the reason this is so important is that having a treatment in hospitals is what really the whole crisis is all about. If you can treat the 10% of people that come in that are sick enough and that you can protect them from dying, you can make them get better faster, then, the, then we can start going back to work and hugging our grandmothers again. So, but what we're talking about here with an antibody is you give this to someone that's already sick, maybe really sick, and it blocks the disease process which has already started. So you expect to see a change in those people, how quickly? Well, the antibodies, once it's either an IV or if you can concentrate them, sometimes an injection. Within, within 20 to 30 minutes, you have a lot of antibodies in their body. Within a couple hours, they're pretty much spread out everywhere. And at that point, they're neutralizing the virus everywhere in their body. Within a couple days, you should see that person um, improving much faster than they would otherwise and you know, not getting worse. But you want to give them the antibodies as early as possible. The, the antibodies can help at any stage along this path. But the further along you are, you start having other physical problems like tissue damage in the lungs and other things that aren't just the virus. So the earlier you can block it, the better your results are gonna be. Now, can you give this to doctors, uh, frontline caregivers to block them from getting, I know it's not a vaccine, but can you give this to people that are actually working with infected patients to help them? Yeah, so that's one of the advantages of an antibody treatment. Uh, and one of the disadvantages of a vaccine is a vaccine with a vaccine, you're injecting little pieces of the virus into a person and you're trusting their immune system to produce antibodies against it after some weeks. But vaccines, uh, they're gonna, they don't work that well in the elderly or the immunocompromised because their immune systems don't work that well to produce the antibodies. And you know, you're putting like doctors and medical staff at risk for long periods where they're exposed to the virus, where an antibody treatment, you could infuse it into those, those subjects. And it doesn't last as long as a vaccine, it lasts, but it does last like eight to 10 weeks where they'd be protected. And at the end of that, if they needed more, they could get another infusion and they'd be protected for another eight to 10 weeks.